the last two weeks, there has been new developments on the treatment front for COVID-19. Three drugs have emerged uh, for the different stages of a COVID-19 patients, and all these drugs are available in India. We saw encouraging data from the recovery trial of the United Kingdom for the steroid drug dexamethasone, which prevented the deaths in one third of severely ill COVID-19 patients. This drug has been uh, widely produced in India, so. It is it is something that our doctors have been using widely, and this is something that we have uh, we have it in the country. Last week, we also saw the Drug Controller of India giving approval to Favipiravir and Remdesivir, the two emerging the two emerging drugs uh, for for COVID nineteen. Favipiravir is an old Japanese flu drug. This has been uh, in use in Japan for several years for the treatment of flu. Mumbai-based Glenmark Pharma has received an approval for this drug to administer it in mild COVID-19 patients. This is very important distinction. Favipiravir has to be administered only in mild patients. Glenmark got this approval on the basis of a clinical trial which they did on 150 patients. The number seems too less, and we are still awaiting full uh, full results of their of the study data. But it's important distinction to make that this is a mild. Drug for mild patients. It's not supposed to be used as a prophylaxis, that is, as a preventive drug. The drug controller has given it as an emergency marketing approval, which means that Glenmark will have to keep providing data about the efficacy of the drug to the drug controller periodically. The other drug uh, which got a marketing approval was Remdesivir. Now, two Indian generic companies have received an approval for Remdesivir, that's Cipla and Hetero Pharma. Both these companies have got licenses from. From Gilead, which is which is the original patent holder uh, of this drug, Gilead also has a license for Remdesivir in India. They will start their supply in July, but for now, Cipla and Hetero have said that they have started supply of Remdesivir uh, already in hospitals. The the information that we need to know about Remdesivir is such that it is not something that you can buy off of pharmacy stores. The drug is specifically uh, prescribed for patients who are under oxygen. The drug works in such a way that it brings down the discharge uh, time for a hospitalized patient, which means is that uh, faster recovery. Again, the drug controller has said that only five vials. It's an it's an it's an injection. Remdesivir is an injection, and only five vials are required or should be should be administered uh, for a for a moderately ill COVID-19 patients who are under oxygen. So, with this development, we see that there are three new drugs that has come in. One drug. For the use of uh, mild patients, that is favipiravir. For moderate patients, we have remdesivir, and for severely ill patients, we have uh, dexamethasone. So, these three class of drugs have sort of uh, sprung a new hope for uh, for patients and also for for people who are who are worried about uh, the treatment options for COVID-19. However, all these drugs have to be taken. Only when your doctor prescribes it, it's something you cannot go off and buy as an OTC like a paracetamol. It's not something that you can get it. But what it says in the last six months since COVID-19 pandemic hit the world, uh, science has made uh, progress in terms of coming up with some form of treatment options for patients, and it's an it's an uh, it's an encouraging trend.